Iowa hunter here. Back at the Rock and Bee Ranch. I just wanted to say I was cut off from about 40, 50 acres of my 60 some acre plot. I had a guy come in here and put in a Missouri Crossing. And when you do it right, we've had more rain and the worst winter we've ever had. I'm gonna put a little more riprap on here. But it wasn't so much the bank coming down as the bottom. Tons of the whole belly dump of broken concrete down there. And everything dug out of this here was put back up in that hillside over there, the down water side on the corner to make sure that didn't try to cut through that field. That's all concrete under there packed with dirt. And uh, you can walk right across that baby and drive your truck across it, whatever. I got a tree came down here in a storm, a small one, but I just left it down. Remind people I didn't want people driving back here. Almost back 40, 50 acres. <clears throat> but after you come out of that food plot, I want to show you. I took out a few walnut trees this year and I had them take the good wood and thin a little bit out, but then uh, taking trees out necessarily isn't always bad. I, I had them buck up all the tops of them trees. I mean, see how big them trees are up the top? When the babies are laying on the ground, look how thick this is down here now. I'm talking about deer just love this. Baby fawns are just popping out. I've seen some on video, just learning how to stand up and whatnot. I'm sure they're back here hiding right now. I don't want to bother them too much. When you buck this brush up in piles, we had such a bad winter. This wood was down last year. They just ate all the bark off all them twigs. It was like a main soup food source for them. <clears throat> but I think that's important for good deer management is have some good bedding areas with some thick, I call it buck brush. They can get in there and you couldn't tell if a buck was 20 feet from you down here. And get your water and your food plots in here and, and make everything come together. And, and that will make a good hunting farm. But try to walk back in as much as you can. Stay off your machines. I lost 30 pounds and my cholesterol came down in a good range just from getting some good old exercise with Mother Nature. I'm blessed to be able to get out here and do this. Anyway, I'm the Iowa Whitetail Hunter and I'm out.